Look who we found beached up on the banks of the Mara. Oh, wow, Craig, look how fast that crocodile's going. It's caught a current. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not really swimming at all. It's just, uh, well, maybe it's on a tube of some sort and it's floating down the river. Remember, Craig, how we said we were going to come tubing along here? But there goes another crocodile. Sorry, I, that again got so distracted. I thought it was a log floating by, but it was not a log. There are many crocodiles on the stretch of the river. Uh, actually, it's a very nice spot that this crocodile has got. It's nice and sheltered. It'll be absorbing all the warmth from the sun and of course laying in the mud, but that is a scary looking thing. And that is quite a big crocodile. I would estimate it at one, two, maybe four meters. So not massive. You know, definitely some uh, gigantic crocs out here, but fairly large. If not necessarily long, it's quite a wide crocodile. Sure, that must weigh maybe five or 600 kilograms quite easily, if not a little bit more and is resting because I have not seen this crocodile open its eyes just yet. Now, something that I've been chatting about quite a bit and I'm really excited for, and I've mentioned it to you about the, of course, the uh, crocs starting to prepare their nests. Now, I really hope that our cameras along the river are in strategic places and maybe, because I like to go and play with them during the day and see what's happening, maybe we'll get lucky enough to watch a, a female croc prepare the nest and lay her eggs. Wouldn't that be amazing? Because we'd be not disturbing them at all because I don't even know that the cameras are there. I think that would be a very interesting behavior to watch. I don't think, I don't know if Brent has maybe seen it before. I haven't. I don't think Jamie has. James, I'm not sure. Scott? Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to ask them though. But I think it's a very rare thing to see other than you, if you know where their nesting, you know, uh, regular nesting sites are and you've put cameras there before. I don't think many people have seen it uh, happening right there and then. But it's getting a bit windy along the river's edge today, so we probably won't hang around here for too much longer. You may have heard some of the hippos grunting too. Uh, and I don't think this crocodile is going to get up to too much at all, really. It's probably going to spend most of its day just basking in the sun. And I don't think it's going to be too hot either. There's quite a bit of clouds around at the moment. Right, let's carry on. I've decided to sit up over here today. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. P, you've stumped me again. I'm wondering if crocodiles all over the world are the same species. I don't think so. Um, maybe they're subspecies of one another, uh, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think how closely related the saltwater croc and the Nile crocodile are. That'd be quite interesting. Let me jump down and actually get into my sea. Uh, I don't have a reptile book on me either. I shall do some research and then we shall come back to the crocodiles this afternoon and we can talk about it then because I don't actually know. Uh, to be honest, I've only ever seen seen an alligator very quickly in the States, but like from far away, so I don't know if it really counts. And then I have seen many Nile crocodiles. I have not seen a saltwater croc uh, uh, that you, for instance, you get in Australia. So I'm not so sure, but the saltwater croc though uh, and the Nile crocodile look fairly similar. It'll be quite interesting to find that out. I was reading an interesting article though about Nile crocodiles and I can't remember what I was reading about. I read it at two o'clock in the morning when I couldn't sleep and I've completely forgotten about it. So I'll find that article again 